Before we turn things over to Tucker Carlson, let's check in with Chris Matthews on Hardball Plaza in Washington, D.C., coming up in just about an hour from right now. Now, the chair next to you is empty now, Chris, but I understand you have a uh, pretty controversial guest headed your way. Well, we've got Ann Coulter. What, you, what can you say? She's near the top of the bestseller list. Our book's been selling like mad. She's a hell of a writer. I stayed up late last night with her reading the book, and it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting conversation. I have no idea what to expect. It'll all be in her control. And, well, I find that hard to believe with you well, hosting the, the show, Well, that's the way it'll Chris. be, because I'm going to be a gentleman and see what she says. Well, Chris, just for the record, I actually had someone, a family member, ask me this about Ann Coulter. She said, who is Ann, why should I be listening to Ann Coulter? Has she been a lawmaker? Has she changed mm -hmm. anything for the better in this country? Has she done something significant within the government that I should listen to her about politics? Well, I think it's closer to P.T. Barnum, who you once said, if you want a crowd, start a fight. I mean, her... Uh, Attacks on people have been so uh, broad, so wild, so personal that I think people uh, write it up because most other people play by a certain rule, which is not to attack people personally. And she does it. She said the other day that Bill Clinton is gay. It's not an assault on somebody, but I think it's probably inaccurate uh, if they're not gay. In this case, I don't think it's true. Uh, but obviously by saying that on CNBC the other night, she's made a big story here because people don't think of Bill Clinton as gay. They think of him as rather... Uh, clearly heterosexual and uh, it's a fun thing in a way although I haven't checked with Bill Clinton what he thinks about it but you know these stories are always fun if they're not about you and I think that's uh, you know her calling uh, Mike Dukakis the former Democratic candidate for president uh, the midget Greek are referring to the terrorists as swarthy Muslim beasts or uh, a lot of his personal stuff I'm not used to in politics of so sells books uh, I think a lot of guys find her to be their sort of uh, surrogate. She says things wild so they don't have to say it. They read her books and they find it sort of scintillating that she can say things that they don't dare, sort of corporate types, more retiring gentlemen, I assume, read her books, and uh, they get a giggle out of it. It's, as I said, it's not harmless unless it's you that's getting hit. Well, she's playing hardball with you, Chris Matthews. Well, no, no, Five. I don't think she plays, no one plays hardball but me, but she'll be here. Oh, I said with you, sir, with you, sir. Well, she'll be a guest on hardball. All right, well, check out. Let's not build her up any more than she's built up already. Chris Matthews, thanks for stopping thank by. Thank you, thank you. And thank you so much for watching. Now you're caught up on all you want to know, what you need to know the most. We'll be back tomorrow. Have a great day. Tucker's up next.